Hey, what's up, everybody? What's up, Abomination Nation? You sure? <laughs> Hey, I like it. You do not like. I like Abomination it. Nation. <laughs> you might be known as the Abomination Nation. Hey, trust me to make an intro. But anyway, welcome back to the Grand Saga. Um, I'm shipping it. Paige is shipping it. I don't know if she knows what shipping it means, but she ships it. Usually, shipping it means you. Uh, shipping usually means you want a relationship between two fictional characters. Yep. Often in anime. Yep. That's why I'm saying it. You ship the Abomination Nation, okay. What color do you like? I like green. It's my favorite color. In case anyone wants to know, green is my favorite color. It's a good color. It's the color of nature. Also, it's fun story about my favorite color. Uh, we'll get back to this in a second. My favorite color is green because the zombies in Diablo 1 were green. And I liked Diablo 1 as a kid, so green. And my color... You should rename your channel Abomination. No, I'm Dustin the Abomination. They are the Abomination Nation. I am the Abomination. Okay, anyways, Alright, who is it? Clunk, 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 clunk. Oh. Alright. These guys will just dodge back a bunch of times. You gotta put up your shield. Give them a little whip. Once you back off against the corner, their main method of getting away is gone. So you go, Oop. They got me in the blender. Oh, I'm not used to keyboard, I keep trying to... I forgot what the block button was for a second. I think there is a way to connect the controller to this, but I don't know yet, so... I'm still playing a PS1 game on computer, and I'm not a computer gamer. I play console, uh, so anyone who's the PC master race, I understand. But, uh, I am... I play consoles. I just do. <laughs> we don't have a computer capable of playing any good computer games anyway. The door is locked. Oh yeah, I gotta use the key. You gotta manually use the key in this game. What'd you call me? Okay. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh. Let's open the door. You insert the key to the prison cell. The key slowly turns, making a strange sound. In case anyone didn't know how the key works, that's how a key works. Oh. Who are you? My name is Eon. You're Arcea. Why, yes. But do I know you? No, but I'm a friend. I bring this gift from your father. He said it was of grave importance. Oh, from my father? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I, I, I turned up the volume a second there for the uh, clip. I hope it worked. I hope it wasn't too loud. Yeah, if anyone's listening and that hurt your ears, it shouldn't. My stuff's really quiet. What is that light? Is it some sort of jewel? I don't know why it glows. It has some sort of mysterious power. Shh! A voice! Did you hear a voice? <laughs> Took a while. This is Zora. I'm the wise man who controls the wind spirit. You are my daughter. Father, can it be? Ooh. Wow. Oh, the tint of the room changed. It means you're some kind of ghost. Arcia, you have regained the wind orb. I have made certain that you would receive my instructions. I think this will help you to understand. My father disappeared when I was very young. But why? How can I hear his voice? This orb is used in the lifting ceremony. The wise men of the Four Lands use four orbs to control the Tower of Erlen. The Imperial Wizardry, who once destroyed the world, have rejoined, and they will try to rule the world once more by using the power of Erlen. As the lands continue to sink to their doom, the struggle for power goes on. Arcia, you are holding the Wind Orb. The Water Orb belongs to the land of Aquas. The Fire Orb belongs to the land of Belangs. Sorry, I'm dead. I can't speak good. The Fire Orb belongs to the land of Valkos. And the Earth Orb belongs to Zephyr. The 
survival of the continents is dependent on these orbs. Never allow the Imperial Army to have them, because whoever has possession of all four orbs will have control of Erlum. Arcia, you must guide Erlum and recite the lifting verses. Then the magic of Erlum will once again lift the lands and save the people. Arcia, you are our only hope. You must save us. And just like that, the tent of the room came back. Father, wait! How could you? It's so hard to believe. What should I do? First, we need to get out of here. We should board the good and <laughs> good good. That's not. There's no way that's the way that's pronounced. I'm gonna pronounce it Gouda now because I like cheese. We should board the Gouda and ask them to take us back. Then we can figure out what to do. Okay. I'm sorry about this. I've been so rude. I haven't even thanked you yet. Thank you for saving my life, Eon. You don't have to be so polite. Alright, Eon. I just want to make certain that you know I'm grateful. Okay, I know. Let's hurry up and get out of here. We're hurrying on up to the place where the people are. Second bridge. Second bridge. Now I understand. Although the evil forces that ruled the Earth have perished, our foolishness still exists in the form of the Four Orbs. Will humankind repeat this cycle of destruction? A mere stone. Oh! I thought someone was hiding. Nobody's there, don't worry. This is the control room. Someone stole the orbs from the hangar. Kill all the pirates on site. Do you think they discovered our presence? It's too dangerous here. Let's go to the lower deck. I gotta be prepared for this cutscene coming up. Deck. Alright, no cutscene yet. I'll go check it out right here, okay? Alright, see ya. Yes, I'll wait. Oof, I have a little bit of the low health, but that's fine. On the deck, the group is surrounded by the Imperial Army. What's happening out there? I have a feeling that something's gone wrong. Oh no! They've all been captured! Now we'll never get out of here! Over there! Someone's coming! Huh? Who are you? Oh, what a pretty picture, the brave young warrior and the beautiful damsel in distress. So, how did you two find the other three orbs? I'm curious. Uh, who said we found them? I've been informed of every move you've made. And now it's time for me to make mine. I've got them all. Oh, oh no! Ah! <gasps> What have you done? <laughs> now that the orbs have been destroyed, you nor anyone else can perpetuate the selfish destruction of nature's gifts for their own greedy purposes. You wanted the orbs so you could use their magical powers to rule the four continents. You must believe me, that wasn't our intent. You're just like the rest. You swear you won't be corrupt, but you will be. Leave now, you're free to go. Go ahead, no one will stop you. One's destiny cannot be manipulated. Okay, yeah, I gotta watch out for cutscenes, because every time a cutscene comes in, I have to manually up the audio, just so you can hear it, because cutscenes are quiet. Uh, so anyway, let's get back to it. Uh, let's go. <clears throat> Ooh, crystals. Ooh, my hand glowed. That was pretty spooky. The scepter memorizes the pieces of the orb. Your body's overcome the strange feeling. You've gained a level. Oh boy! Alright, let's uh. Arcee, what was that? Oh, Arcee, I said that. No, what's that? Alright, let's leave.
The biscuits and soldiers are fighting Christian on the deck. You can't go out there. Hey, on. Hey, Eon, what are you doing? Hey, is that the girl you're looking for? Eon, is this your bird? I'm not a bird, I'm... Never mind, I don't have time for this. Gandor instructed us to escape while the soldiers are busy with the deadbeats. And what about Laramie and her friends? They'll be able to escape once they've killed some of those soldiers. Amazing. Whew. Okay. I can't go by myself. I didn't expect this much trouble. My Corky gave you a ride back to Shilf. What happened to my brother? He went back from the Vangelis to disengage their armament system. Yeah. By the way, he wanted to tell you not to work, no matter what happens. What? What is he going to do? If I can't abandon the goo, I am a despot. We'll be alright. I know. Please hurry. I don't want to be on my own for too long. Yeah. I'll back you down and Corky. Laramie! You're late, what took you so long? At least you made it here without dying on me. And this must be Arcia, right? My name is Laramie. Pleasure to meet you. I'm happy to see that there are women in the Desmonds. Well, I'm the only one. Sometimes it's hard. Never mind, let's go. Come on, Corky, takes the show. I can't wait for a decent meal. Corky? It'll be tough carrying all three. Wind, sun, breath of the spirit, give me your mighty power. What will happen now? You have to see it for yourself. Ah, very funny. Corky's gonna warm up. Boom! Big Corky activate. Now loading. Whoa! Corky turned into Big Bird. Corky, you're huge! I'm a spirit beast, remember? Yes, he's a big bird. Sorry, spirit beast. Still looks like a bird to me. Hey, if you want to get off, just let me know. Yeah, yeah it's all under control. I think they cut a line there, it didn't make much sense. Long stretches of silence, gains a uh, strong suit. Here we go, hold on! This might be a cutscene. Maybe it's a cutscene? I have to be ready for the cutscene, it's gotta turn the audio off. I sure hope no one saw me take the broken pieces of the orbs! If they did, they'd be right behind us. I hope my brother's alright. Huh? Oh! What's that? Maybe it's an abandoned Imperial Wizardry Fortress. Welcome. Ye who possess the four magic orbs hold the key to Erlim. Erlim? Okay, I think that's where I'm going to end this episode. We're in Erlim. Um, hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you like the name Abomination Nation, say so. Leave a like. Uh, this episode's gone on for far too long. I'm not going to take any more of your time. Goodbye, Abomination Nation, maybe.